Hi guys, this is Frankie for the Pixel Slayers. Today I have a new keyboard and mouse to unbox, so stay tuned. Alrighty, so this is the Re RK900 Plus gaming keyboard and mouse. It's on Amazon and uh, it's only $30. And I had a Red Dragon keyboard that I actually reviewed on the channel a couple years ago and it's holding up pretty well. Some of the keys are getting a little faded though and I saw this for $30 and I was intrigued. And you know us, we love our cheap gaming keyboards and mice. So let's open this thing up and see if, it, if it's worth 30 bucks. Maybe it's worth more, that'd be kind of nice. Let's see here. So the packaging's pretty cheap. Um, nothing too fancy with the packaging, but then again, what's inside is what really matters. So inside, the keyboard has a nice matte finish, so you don't have to worry about smearing. Um, doesn't feel cheap, doesn't have a whole lot of flex. Actually, not much flex at all, so I'm pretty impressed. Keys are pretty quiet. They're not, obviously they're not any mechanical switches in here. This is just like a regular keyboard, but it is pretty, pretty close to the Red Dragon, if I'm honest with you, as far as the key fill in the travel. Um, overall, it feels pretty nice. Uh, it has these red, these red um, shortcut keys on top, and it's an RGB light up keyboard, and keyboard as well, so. So far, it's pretty uh, pretty nice looking. Let's see what the mouse looks like. So the mouse doesn't look like it has any weights to it. So here's the mouse. The mouse is actually quite unique. It's a little bit different than most of these cheap mice I see. Um, it has these uh, DPI switch buttons. I believe they're programmable though. It has these two programmable buttons and one right here. It actually has a really smooth, um, really comfortable, uh, smooth finish on there. And it also lights up, I believe it's red or blue. I'm not too sure if this is RGB. We'll plug it in in a minute and see what it does. Um, no weights, the Red Dragon keyboard and mouse. Um, the, key, the, the mouse from the Red Dragon set came with weights. Uh, the PicTech one that I reviewed as well had no weights and this one has no weights, but this one actually feels really nice, uh, really comfortable. And if you have like wider hands or bigger hands, this mice, this mouse is pretty uh, well suited for your hands. Um, the scroll wheel has a nice, comfortable, soft uh, plastic, so it doesn't feel cheap. And yeah, it feels pretty nice. And both cords are braided. You got a braided uh, USB cord on here and here. This is black. This is black and red. So to get them together. They actually look pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get these set up on a computer for you, and uh, we'll see what they look like when they're lit up. So stay tuned. Okay, so we got these plugged in now, and you can see how they light up. Pretty similar to the Red Dragon keyboard and mouse, um, as far as the lighting scheme goes, except this one actually um, goes between a different set of RGB colors. It's actually full RGB, and it just kind of goes through the different colors. It has this really cool, unique crack design on the uh, top buttons. And I gotta say, it looks really cool. It's probably the coolest uh, uh, budget mouse I've seen uh, thus far. Um, pretty impressed, honestly. Uh, the build quality in this keyboard, the lack of flex, the fact that they uh, went out of their way to make these keys a little bit bolder. So your uh, ASDW keys are bold so you can see them easier. And the fact that um, it does go between uh, the multiple colors is pretty nice. Um, at first, when I was ordering this, I, I was kind of worried that is going to be kind of cheap. Um, you may recall a couple years ago when we reviewed the Red Dragon keyboard, that keyboard and mouse set was $30, and that was a great bargain at the time. But recently I've noticed that the uh, thing's been going up. Uh, it's been going up like five bucks every few months, and now I think it's close to $50, which if you're going to spend $50 for a uh, generic keyboard and mouse, you might as well spend a little bit more and get a name brand one as far as I'm concerned. So. When I was looking for a replacement for that, I wanted something that, you know, fit the bill a little bit better. And for $39, or no, for $29.99, the Re uh, keyboard and mouse RGB gaming set really, really, really does it justice for that $30. Um, I really like how the material right here is like a non-slip hard rougher plastic. 
I like how the keys are smooth plastic. I like how quiet the keys are when you're typing. I like how they feel. To be quite honest, it feels very similar to that Red Dragon keyboard. Um, the mouse is very different, but I'm kind of intrigued. I really like the look and I like how it is wider. And one thing I do like is these are a little bit more flush on the Red Dragon keyboard. Um, I mean, on the Red Dragon mouse, these are kind of easy to click because they're kind of higher up and they're easier to accidentally click. These, I don't think we're gonna have that problem. Really smooth plastic uh, on both the buttons and on the click wheel, as we said before. Uh, nice finish overall. Like, honestly, this does not look like a $30 uh, keyboard and mouse set. This is, this is Red Dragon quality, in my opinion. The only thing that I would say that is maybe not up to the Red Dragon uh, set is this mouse is not weighted. But honestly, never really used them, never felt like I needed weights. So that really doesn't bother me. And honestly, I didn't really buy it for the mouse. I bought it for the keyboard. And we'll see how this holds up throughout the years. And maybe we'll do an update if we have any problems. But so far, it looks like this is a good way to spend $30 if you need a new keyboard and mouse for your uh, gaming setup. So yeah, real quick, it's, uh, I just want to go over it again. It's the Re uh, keyboard and mouse set on Amazon. It's only $29.99. And we'll put a link down in the description. Uh, has a little tiny manual with it. It's the RK900 Plus, and the manual is just a little quick, you know, how-to manual. But yeah, um, overall for $30, I'm pretty impressed. I was not expecting much. I was hoping that it would be up to the quality of the Red Dragon, but um, I'd say it is. And uh, definitely a better deal at almost $20 cheaper now, so. Uh, yeah, this is Frankie for the Pixel Slayers, and if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, put them down in the comments below. We'll try to answer those, and thanks for watching. Bye.